Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Beyond Survival. Today, today we are going to make a ton of nanites. I want to show you where we're at. 24,000. That is 11,000 more nanites than we had yesterday. How did I do it? I did it with food. Let's go do it. We're going to start some stuff cooking and then we'll call in the fleet. So we need some basic stuff. We need wheat because we need flour. And we have some butter, so I'm going to go ahead and cook both of them with wheat. Okay. And they're going. I found a great place to find wheat and guess where it is? Where we got all of our storm crystals from the Gamma Planet. And uh, I sold a bunch, but I still have a few left over. I think there's something else you can do with storm crystals now, but I have to look into it. I've forgotten. All right. Let's see here how our industrial mission went. The mission with only two ships didn't go so well. Um, I did get a couple of things from it, but one of the ships was damaged. And the damage was extensive. Every single part of the ship was damaged and it took me about 25 minutes to fix everything. So uh, watch that. Watch these numbers, the difficulty rating. Make sure that you get all your stars uh, in. If you have a five-star mission, you're probably not going to get any damage at all. But we'll just go through here. Got some money and some hair rocks. Activated copper. I'm probably a little low on chromatic metal, so I'm not going to throw that away right away. Relatively short mission. Nothing fabulous there. And here's our first full trade mission. We'll just let the uh, stuff from the other mission finish registering. There we go. And I don't hear any typing sound even though I rushed through that list. That's something else that they fixed. Eight convergence cubes. Wow. Five geck relics can make uh, a whole lot of Gex and Corvexes happy with, those, with that stuff. Here's seven Corvex casings. Fusion accelerant times six. More Corvex convergence cubes. All right. Very cool. Now, again, we didn't get salvage frigate modules out of that run, and that's partially my fault uh, for the mission that I sent them on. Still getting a few collision issues here and there. And now we've got four A-class industrial ships and uh, slowly got to bring our trade ships up. Uh, that really was their first full mission. You notice I have a couple of combat ships now. There we go. They're not terribly good combat ships, but they the only purpose is to interfere in battle. Uh, now that they can actually do damage uh, to the NPC pirates, um, uh, it's working out to have them. So let's see if we can actually send out a mission. I don't know if I have any fuel or not. Let's see here. Only nine hours for that one. That's probably not going to yield a... Uh, salvage frigate module either but it is going to give the ships more experience and that one's 24 so we'll keep working on this one 300 tons we actually have that we have fuel oxidizer which does in fact make the mission longer uh, that's shorter Minus 10% expedition duration, so same expedition, but shorter. <laughs> I thought it was positive, but it's not. It's minus. <laughs> there we go. And we have a really long trade mission here. I don't know if we have the fuel for this, though. Uh, let's see. Four trade ships and something with a really good trade number. Here's this industrial 
vessel. We do not have the fuel for that. I didn't actually think that we did. Dude, really, you're in my face. <laughs> Let's see how our flower is coming along. Looks like they're both done. Oops, didn't need to do that. So now we need uh, butter. Thought I had more milk than that. Let's split the milk in half. That'll cut down that time. Ah, gotta do those separately. Wild milk and fresh milk have to be done separately. I'm gonna make cream. And let's see here. There's a bunch of things that we can make. Uh, I might actually have solar tillow already. I do. That's 11 of them. And steamed vegetables would be good. I think just about everything makes steamed vegetables. <laughs> Always have to jump in the air to do that. Let's make another one. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, hermetic seal. That's just condensed carbon. Let's see if this makes steamed vegetables. Actually, it makes pilgrim berry. One of these things makes steamed vegetables. Actually, pilgrim berry might make steamed vegetables. But... Go ahead and throw that in there. Cactus flesh, make some nectar. All right, now we have cream, and that makes butter. I wanted to go through this whole process. Uh, not to bore you to death, uh, but just to show you how it's done. So, so far we've made um, flour and a ton of it. We still have some milk left over. I have a little bit of butter um, and I have some sugar. I don't think I need sugar for any of these recipes. But for all of them, uh, we're going to need pie casing, and that's what we're doing with the butter. Now I think, I'm going to just check this really quickly. That makes the sugar. That's right. Okay. So cactus nectar and sh makes sugar, and cactus nectar plus sugar makes cactus jelly. So you can see how splitting these things up uh, makes each step. We'll make some more sugar. just takes a few minutes. That's almost done. All right. Now we have butter. We're going to put with refined sugar, and that's going to make pastry. We'll do that over here as well. There we go. And we've got sugar. Let's go ahead and make some cactus jelly with that. I have, oh, I've got frozen tubers. I have so much stuff and it's so mixed up. <laughs> I have no idea when I'm going to have the time to clean up this mess. I really don't. Alrighty. Now we have some cactus jelly. I'm not sure what you can make with cactus jelly. I'd have to look it up. Uh, possibly cream. We'll make a little tiny bit more cream and see what we can do with that. Just while we're waiting.
I know you need cream for some recipes and butter for others. Nothing in there. I think gamma weed actually makes vegetables. Oh, here's some honey. I didn't realize I had so much honey on me. Oh, there it is. Nope, that doesn't do anything. All right, we'll save that for another time. Now then, now we have pastries, and that makes pie case. It makes more pie cases. And we'll grab that first one. And we're just gonna grab the pie case and jelly makes jam tarts. And honey makes honey tarts. Honey just comes straight from bouncy uh, creatures. Solar tillo makes glowing pie. Solar tillo is made from solar vine. Gamma weed? Nope, gotta process that first. What else do we have here? Frozen tubers? Nope, those gotta be processed first. Looks like pretty much everything after that needs to be processed first. How about meat? That makes smoked meat pie. Let's make one of those. We'll see if uh, Kronos likes it. He doesn't much m like the smoked meat. <laughs> Here's some more pie cases. We'll grab those pie cases, and we'll make honey tarts, go, we'll grab these, move them over here, and we'll make the solar tillow glowing pie, there we go, this part of it takes the longest, uh, what was I doing with the frozen tubers? Frozen tubers. I needed them for something. Oh, they're steamed vegetables. Okay, good deal. And we'll have pie casing left over from that. Got to turn off my heater. It was freezing cold this morning and now it's not. <laughs> Here we go. This is the longest part of the process. And uh, when we get to that point, I'll show you again how many nanites we're starting with. And I'm also going to show you how we solve the, the problem of Kronos not picking what we want him to do. Uh, sh sugar and something else, I think it was. Let's make some honey tarts. done on this one. And once again, I will link uh, Zane's World's cookbook for all of this uh, in. And we're actually going to need some more butter for that, I think. So we'll let that run. And we have two pie cases left. So we'll bring that over here when we've got them. It's all about how much you're making at one time. And we need some flour. So flour and butter makes pastry, and pastry makes pie case. We're just making a couple more here. Now the process with handing in things uh, to Kronos is still long. Uh, Hopefully they'll work out some way. Uh, the thing is, is that he judges each individual item. And so having a hand in all button wouldn't really work with him. But trust me, this is definitely worth it. There's five more pie cases. And let's do some jam tarts. 
I don't remember what I was going to do, but we'll do... Uh, oh, I was going to do a vegetable pie. That's all right. We'll do that some other time. Now then, we need to stop Kronos from picking the things we don't want uh, him to uh, react to. So we need to put some stuff away. And put away the butter and sugar and vegetables. So what we're going to do with the rest of it is we're going to put it in storage containers. It's glowing pie. There's a smoked meat pie uh, container. We'll grab this honey tarts. Oh, we have one more pie case left. Let's see here. We'll do another smoked meat pie. There we go. We'll put the smoked meat away. And anything else uh, that can interfere. We'll just check through here really quickly to make sure that we don't have any uh, food for animals or any raw supplies. All right. So now all we have are these things. And uh, oops, they were in order. There we go. So we have 18 honey tarts, 11 glowing pies, four jam tarts, and two smoked meat pies. Let's go make some real nanites. I've moved the freighter to a system that I haven't been to before, just to knock down all the noise from all of the beacons and bases and everything, so that we can't see them. Quick save here. Whenever you launch your ship or leave a space station or go to the anomaly, uh, always grab a save. Pretty much want to save between every step. You just never know when your system, whatever system you're using, is going to cause a problem or the internet drops off or, you know, there's a power surge or <laughs> save a lot. <laughs> see Kronos because we need nanites we need 50,000 nanites <laughs> it's all about how much time you want to put into this um, you know you can see how long it's been that we've been cooking and so we'll look really quickly we have 24,000 18 nanites so we'll say 24,000 Alrighty, Kronos, let's start with the smoky meat. With style and substance, he liked that. Look at how many nanites we're getting. 70 from that. I'm not going to read every one of them. I'm just going to zip through this. I am going to start, however, if the counter in the upper corner there hits 398. It seemed to seems to stop counting at that point and I don't know if it's actually not counting uh, or if it's just having a, a hiccup right there or it's not showing any higher number than that and whether he likes it or not is really important the more he likes it look at this artist to artist the more he likes it the more nanites you're gonna get so I'm getting 120 nan 20, 129 nanites for different recipes last night. <laughs> there it is, 129 nanites you can see in the upper right corner. 129 seems to be the max. It's the most I've gotten for anything yet. And that's going to be another 129. So what you need is two things. You need a planet where there's a lot of wheat. I found a ton 
of wheat, obviously more than I could use uh, on that storm crystal planet. I'm not saying that storm crystal planets have more wheat. I'm just saying that particular planet had a lot of wheat on it. And you need um, milk. So you need animals that give milk. Uh, if you want to make honey tarts or uh, things with uh, crunchy uh, caramel, you're gonna need a bouncy planet for that. Bouncies uh, do not give milk and most bouncy planets also don't have animals on them uh, that have milk available. Uh, that wasn't a very good one. <laughs> And we got 40. So 40 is the minimum that I've seen. Other than uh, giving him bait, which uh, the bait that he didn't sort of like, but he tolerated, he got I got 10 for. And um, and most things with bait, I didn't get any nanites at all. So he definitely wants cooked stuff. And pies are definitely the way to go. Pies and tarts. He likes the sweets. <laughs> we have more honey tarts than anything, so. Let's take a minute to get through the honey tart list. And you see it, it took, as long as it took to make the food, it took probably two times that long at least to get the wheat. It only takes a few seconds to get the milk if you know where to get it. So if you've got a planet that's got a lot of prey animals on it that are not bouncies or diplos, um, then you're going to get milk most of the time. I also got a lot of eggs from creatures. Um, he doesn't particularly like the baked eggs, but there are recipes that you can make with the eggs. Um, you just need to refer to the guide or discover them on your own. Um, if you want to discover recipes on your own, that's awesome too. But I'm going to provide uh, Zane's guide for you. Because if the purpose is to get nanites, then you don't want to spend all day long learning how to make stuff. <laughs> He's happy with just about every one of these. And... Uh, so we're getting 129 nanites almost every time. There it is again. <laughs> he wasn't too sure about that one. <laughs> that one moved his soul. <laughs> we'll expect 129 for that. <laughs> He's pretty funny. All right, are we done yet? Oh, another one. We made a bunch of those because I had a ton of honey. I live on a bouncy planet. <laughs> Ocean Beaches is a bouncy planet. All righty. See if we have any left here. Seem to have an endless supply of honey tarts. <laughs> Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I can't be bothered with this. <laughs> Wait till you see how many nanites we made in this short period of time. <laughs> I think you might change your mind about being bothered with this cooking thing. <laughs> there we go. We're all done. All right. We had 24,018 nanites. We now have 27,468. So in the space of this short video, we've made uh, 3,450 uh, 3, nanites in just this short little period of time. <laughs> you guys, I have always said this, stacking missions is the best way to make nanites. If you don't want to go out and stack missions, which takes hours, uh, trust me, when I come to you and we start an episode and we've got 50 missions to do and they're all stacked up it's because I've been through my entire teleport list and just stacked every single passive mission I can find and sentinel missions because we're always killing sentinels takes hours this did not take hours this took me about an hour to get the milk and the wheat uh, only because I ran out of it yesterday 
and uh, the, the space of this video to make those recipes from scratch and turn them into Kronos. So this is cool. This is a lot of nanites. And this is how I'm going to get to 50,000 nanites so that this ship can become an S-Class. I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> That's going to be a great day. And it's not going to be a day too far off in the future. All right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.